Welcome, Welcome to, to Testing Tuesday! Tuesday. Woo. So, each week on Testing Tuesday... <laughs> Continue! We're live! Okay, each week on Testing Tuesday, Florian and I are going to test an Alexa skill or a Google action and to just uh, learn from very successful voice apps out there. And uh, this time, we're going to test my pet dog. Yes. That was my line, actually. But Sorry. yes, we will be. Um, so last week, um, we've tested the amazing Guess My Name, which was actually a skill that was built with Jovo uh, from members of our amazing Jovo community, Oscar Mary and Jess Williams. This week, um, we are taking a break from <laughs> built with Jovo Alexa skills. Uh, no, um, this is actually the, the concept here is that we are we love um, skills built with Jovo, um, but we are also interested about exploring skills that are not necessarily built with Jovo, just to learn from the best and um, bring um, value to everyone. Yep. And we're also not restricting ourselves to voice games, which is very hard for me, but we still do it, uh, um, just to provide more value for, um, for you, because some people are always already very much interested in uh, uh, like e-commerce and, and um, other solutions that are uh, driven on, that work well on the voice platform. Yeah. And today we have um, just scrolled through a list of highly um, ranked or highly evaluated or reviewed, positive, favorably reviewed um, voice apps that were recently published and they came across my vet doc, my pet. My pet doc. Yeah. Pet, my pet doc, my pet vet. Yeah, um, and we have never um, opened this skill before. Yeah, we, we haven't even read the description too closely. Yeah, we took a look at the website. So they have a website and so on. It's so very professional. And um, But let's see. Like we have a dog that has a problem, right? Yes, yes, yes. Our dog is called Scrappy. Scrappy, or yeah. <laughs> Scrappy the dog. And maybe he has a red eye and scratches and eats his poop or whatever dogs do. Uh, um, we'll so. see. Yeah, so let's get started. Alexa, open my pet dog. Here's my pet dog from the lifestyle category. Lifestyle. This is my pet dog. What's going on with your pet today? Uh, Scrappy is feeling sick. I'm sorry to hear that. What's the main symptom? He's got red eyes. Poor thing. Are you noticing any other symptoms, including things like changes in eating and drinking, peeing and pooping? Pooping a lot. <laughs> a lot. Got it. Any other symptoms? Scratches himself. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. From a medical perspective, I'm most concerned about the peeing, so let's talk about that. Okay with you? Sure. Or his other dogs. Great. You said his name was Scrappy, right? Yes. Nice. Excellent. Great. Tell me what kind of dog Scrappy is. A large dog. <laughs> Tell me the main breed in your dog, or even just Mutt. Uh, golden Retriever. And how old is he? Nine. Has Scrappy been neutered? Yes. All right, back to the peeing. Drinking and peeing more than normal <laughs> and sometimes having accidents can be caused by a number of things, such as a simple urinary tract infection or more complex issues like hormone abnormalities, metabolic issues, or kidney disease. A vet will probably need to do some tests like a urinalysis or blood work to figure out what it is. Our recommendation is that you speak to a vet to discuss what's going on with Scrappy a little further. <laughs> Would you like to talk live to a vet now? Yes. All right. The doctor will be able to advise you and better determine next steps, but they can't legally diagnose, prescribe meds, or treat an animal if they've never seen them in person. Here's how this works. I'm going to send the vet all the information you've given me, plus your phone number. Then the vet will call you in a few minutes. What phone number do you want them to call you at? 203-296-3211. It's a kind of fake phone number that I use. Let me read that back to you. 
203-296-2211. Is that right? Yes. Yes. That was an Alexa's voice. Interesting. Great. Mm -hmm. The vet will call you shortly. Thanks for using my pet doc. All right. Some poor Where's pet vet. Uh, oh, I think it's on my laptop over there. Okay. If I really receive a call, should I answer it? I mean, <laughs> no. I don't, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> don't worry, get bailed. Okay, maybe maybe we're done here. Uh, um, so yeah, interesting. Uh, it's kind of like an, an IVR system a little bit. I feel like I, I mean, it was very interesting that they they used a different voice and they definitely didn't like use like pre-recorded audio because like they had like the name Scrappy and you could feel that Scrappy was like mm -hmm. cut in. So they were definitely working with like different audio files or some sort of Texas speech, uh, but it was. Um, I mean, it felt it felt great that the person like talked mm -hmm. very fast. For example, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer your questions really quickly. Let's help your pet as soon as possible, yeah. like that. Um, but also, I mean, sometimes it felt a little bit like an IVR system, which isn't necessarily bad. Mm -hmm. But it was also maybe not as like calming as you might want it to be. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, know, yeah. What, what persona they're trying to be in this in this skill? Mm -hmm. was, uh, I definitely liked like how um, how they do it, and they it was actually working quite well. Like the whole, um, I mean, it understood like pee instead of poop, for example, which is like not too bad. Or maybe it's the same thing for for pets. I don't but know if they did. Uh, maybe did they understood that Scrappy the dog pooped more, but then maybe they were more interested in the, in, in, in the peeing. Did we talk about peeing at all? No, we didn't. But maybe this is an interesting thing to ask um, mm, or the next okay. next most interesting thing to, to diagnose it. She, she said, <laughs> Alex is laughing. Uh, so so she, uh, she said, I'm most concerned about the peeing. So mm. I, I thought, okay, maybe. But it was like it understood yeah. the name correctly, which was yes. super interesting. And then I, I don't know. It, it really felt like an almost like instead of like the uh, the IVR cutting mm -hmm. like scrappy into the into the conversation thing, it almost felt like a normal conversation, yes. which is like how it should be. Like okay, I'm asking questions. Mm -hmm. I'm most concerned about this. Let's talk about this a little more. And yeah. then and then a very good tool to uh, generate leads for their main service. Yeah. I think like just um, having a real vet. Um, talk a little more about this and mm -hmm. I don't know if they like they said that they're gonna send all the information to the vet so it's a really good like lead kind of qualification mm -hmm. thing and then they don't have to answer as many questions uh, afterwards yeah um, so it's definitely good it's better than having like an, a web MD it's like oh your dog has cancer <laughs> yeah. and that's um, and that's it it's more like mm -hmm. okay let's talk about a few things and then then talk to a professional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, um, sketching out um, some um, possible um, things that uh, could be it, like um, the urinary tract infection, and so, um, and then um, from there on you can move on and um, yeah, ex explore that further with a vet. Also, um, by like, it was was a good mix of explaining the legal um, background and then um, prerequisites, um, but then um, still keeping it um, kind of conversational. Mm -hmm. Didn't like start reading um, the general terms and conditions mm -hmm. yeah it felt nice i also like that they just collected the phone number um just by voice and not mm -hmm. using like any like contact permissions yeah. or anything it's very very low friction mm -hmm. worked really well and uh yeah i, I really like that definitely um i mean if, when was it launched just a few oh I, I sorted for apps that were launched in the last 90 days okay uh, um, mm -hmm. yeah but I think it's not entirely correct. I think there were some some apps that were around for longer. Do you did you recognize the voice? The I'm speech? also thinking very much about the voice. I th I'm not sure if it's really text to speech because it was super expressive. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. um, 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 like even when she read a le long text, it didn't feel like Polly. Oh, you're getting called, by the way. <laughs> oh, I am getting called. <laughs> yes, <laughs> our vet is calling. No. We Take it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Good Number job. California. We won't take it. Nope. So, um, wow. Took us. Cool. Took them five minutes or so. Or Pretty maybe good. they called several times. I don't know. I just, just saw <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe, might be. No, uh, no. Someone in your world is uh, concerned about Scrappy the dog. You don't need to be. No dogs were harmed uh, <laughs> in the making of this video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so what I think maybe they like Scrappy, for example 
they wouldn't have that in pre-recorded, right? Or are so many docs called Scrappy? Or I know it, it definitely felt like cut together, but mm -hmm. I thought maybe they used some text-to-speech and then, but didn't want to generate the whole sentence like all the time mm -hmm. to save um, to save money, and so they just generate this one point, um, like the name, like in, in the middle of the sentence, and just then mm -hmm. just put put everything together. I'm not sure if 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 um, if, if it was uh, um, generated. Maybe Scrappy. I mean, this is not a totally random name, right? Maybe it's uh, um, just one of the top 100 dog names, and they pre-recorded each and every one of the top 100 dog mm. names, and then just uh, um, cut them in. And if it's not one of the top 100 dog names, um, there is a kind of default audio file which says "your poor dog." Um, yeah, maybe maybe that's um, how they could have done it. Let's try it again. Let's mm -hmm. try if they can do another name like Walter. <laughs> la, la, let's say Voldemort. <laughs> or, uh, open my pet doc. Thanks for contacting my pet doc. What's going on with your pet today? My pet Voldemort scratches all the time. Oh, poor thing. Are you noticing any other symptoms, including things like changes in eating and drinking, peeing and pooping? He loses no. hair. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Let me get a few background details real quick. Is your pet a boy or a girl? Voldemort. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> That's not the gender. Boy. <laughs> I still didn't get it. Is your dog that's having problems a boy or a girl? Boy. Don't like you said his name was Luna, right? Voldemort. My apologies. Let's move on, since names can be hard for me to understand. Ah, okay. And that's how good. old is he? Eight. Okay. That's... I'm sorry. Once more. About how old do you think your dog is? Sit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Sorry, I'm not getting it. Stop. Okay. Thanks for using my pet doc. But it was still good, good error handling. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously it wouldn't understand Voldemort, no. uh, but that's okay. That's mm -hmm. interesting. So they just don't use, like Luna, for example, is a dog's name. Mm -hmm. so they just use all the names they have, like maybe in, in a slot or mm -hmm. something. And then if not, she just says, okay, that's, that's difficult for me to understand. Let's move on. Yeah. And, so, and also the phone number was not, that was Alexa's voice. Yeah. And so it's definitely not, yeah, this is a good point. So they're not using text-to-speech for that. They're mm -hmm. just chopping together different audio files. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think cool. there are some services on the web that offer that you can, um, uh, that, that they make a, a kind of a synthetic voice for you. And then uh, you come to their studio and then mm -hmm. you record yeah. uh, um, one hour of your voice speaking stuff and then they're modeling it. Yeah. Um, so I thought like maybe it was something of the like, but it was still too expressive. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think you, you're not there, not even with the best uh, um, voice synthesis services like WaveNet or so, you're yeah. not getting to that yeah. level. Nice, cool. Yeah. I think that was uh, definitely interesting. Great to try out the utility tool. Mm -hmm. Definitely not as fun as a game. So maybe... Oh, still had a bit so. of fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of talking about pee and poop. <laughs> and so, cool. Um, <laughs> So if you want your Alexa skill or Google Action tested, just let us know. We're going to test it next Tuesday or like any other Tuesday of the year. <laughs> We're taking no breaks. And so yeah. um, thanks for checking back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was your fun. amazing audience. Feel free to share in your social uh, uh, favorite social network. Uh, uh, looking forward to seeing you next Tuesday. See you soon. Bye bye.